About 14 kilometers from Cebu City is a town of Liloan, a town everybody should start putting their itineraries when visiting the island of Cebu. This quiet town got its name from the whirlpools Lilo in Cebuano that forms in some areas of Silot Bay. This fast-growing municipality is also referred to as the Light of the North, a title that attributed the one of the most prominent landmarks, a lighthouse in the coastline of Katarma. There are so many things to do in Liloan, nature trip, photo walk, swimming, adventure, and of course, food trip. The food junkie will love the plaza where a long stretch of sidewalk is lined with food stalls from seafood to lechon, rice cakes to seaweed, salads, and anything else that you can make a food trip enjoyable. In front of the town hall is the almost 170-year-old church of San Fernando Rey Parish. Among the old churches in the facade reads, Año de 1847 is easy to appreciate the symmetry of its structure. A triangular roof at the center and two bell towers on both sides. The meter-thick wall is made of white bricks which arch windows on the sides. Unlike other churches in Cebu, this church faces west a sunproofing design which makes hearing mass in the morning more comfortable according to the towns. A short hubble hubble ride from the plaza can take you to the coastal barangay of Katarma. Here you can get a perfect view from the Mactan channel, a sincere place for the picnic, biking, photo shoot and nap under the trees and of course Siluan's well-known landmark, the Bagakai Point Lighthouse also known as the Parola. The structure originally built in 1857 stands 22 meters high on top of a hill and continues to guide sea travelers since 1904. And that's all for today. And also, if you're new to this channel, please leave a like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for the latest videos. And also, I want to leave a shout out to Eric Francis Okaya and Catherine Nina Kerbo for supporting this channel. And again, I'm Joshua Cabrera and see you in the next video.